Hello guys and girls and welcome back. It's Big John, the app's at the bottom of the screen if you'd like to listen to my music. So is all the relevant information regarding this video. So today what's going to be happening is Taylor Bright, the creator of Pip Hunter, is going to be showing us how to trade a one minute strategy using the Pip Hunter indicator system on TradingView. So I hope you're going to like this one guys and girls. Let's get straight into it. Yep. Hi, I'm Taylor. I'm the creator of Pip Hunter. And in today's video, I am showing you a nice one minute scalping strategy. This scalping strategy is designed literally as like a five pips and dip. I will show you extension potential for it though, if you're looking to get slightly more out of it. I will also cover your entrance and exit guide and the sort of total way of looking at a chart and going through and back testing it. So I shall start by showing all of the indicator settings in order from bottom to top as they appear on the screen. So the first one is Pip Hunter Momentum Extreme and this is set completely standard. I have changed nothing at all. Then we have the Logistics Map Index or Pip Hunter LMR and the changes to that are just simply removing the central line and I thickened out the green to red line just so that I could make it a bit easier to see. And then we move on to the chart and we see three more indicators. This is where you'll see an indicator which I'll give the link below to, and that is Pivot Point Super Trend. This is my settings for the inputs. This is the settings I've got for the style tab. And then we go to Pip Hunter SS, which is the most recent of the Pip Hunter indicators. And you'll see that style wise, it's as normal. But when we come to the settings, you'll notice different settings for slow and fast EMA. And you'll also notice three different time frames have been given to standard. Last but not least, we have the baseline overlay. Here's the settings I've got for the baseline. And when it comes to style, I have the slow EMA turned on and then everything else turned off other than the stars and the background plot that's based off of the slow EMA. And now we go to the point of, well, how do you use it? To use it is nice and straightforward. When it comes to using it, we have a list of confluences that we look for. When we have those, we can enter a trade and we are looking solely for five pips. If we want, there is options for trail stopping and I will cover that also. So the questions are, what are we looking for? It's a really simple, straightforward thing. And if I just scroll to a nice bit of free space, I'll write into the side of the screen. So the first thing we're looking for is momentum. And what I mean by this is that the wave is in the direction that we're overall looking for. So in a bearish trade, you want the red colors of the momentum. And in a bullish trade, you want the green colors of the momentum. You also want the LMI to be in your favor, just color wise. So LMI. Again, you're looking for red in a bearish trade or green in a bullish trade. You're going to want the to be the correct side of pivot point super trend. Correct point super trend. And you also want the uh, I'm going to call them SS dots to have just appeared. And what I mean by that is that I wouldn't be taking a trade where they've been showing themselves for the last 10 candles, you should be taking a trade where they've shown them, just literally shown themselves, if not maybe one candle late at most. And if I go back in on the chart, the optional extras for this trade are to be the correct side of the slow EMA, and the final optional extra is to have a star form as well. So if we were to look at a trade here, for instance, you'd have had an entry here, but then two candles later, you would have also had the bearish star, which if you were trading that system, 
you would have then taken it then instead because you would have waited for a bearish star to be in effect. Again, you could have had a larger amount of pips, but we're focusing purely on five pips as a take profit. The reason being is we're on a one minute chart. Two, we're only looking at short term trends. At most, they're going to be like a couple of hour long trends because of the nature of the timeframes we're setting in pip onto SS. And so we're not looking to hold very long term. You can trail stop. And the way you can do that is either by, uh, if I just chuck a, one of these onto a chart, you could set your trail stop and have an open take profit and just have it so that your trail stop tracks this. Or you could have it so your trail stop tracks the slow EMA, either or perfectly applicable. Again, the other ways that you could look at getting out is you could take your trade and wait for the uh, counter star. You could wait for LMI to turn the inverse color. You could wait for momentum to change color, or you could wait for the dots to stop appearing. There is a large array of reasons you might want to get out, but primarily I'm focused on just simply grabbing my five pips and calling myself done. At most, I will take five pips from I will hit my five pip target where I will take 50% of my lot size off the table and then trail stop the rest but on average I just take the five pip take profit and call that trade done and wait for a new entry so if you were to take five pips and trail stop you would have entered taken some profit and then trailed it out either using the EMA the pivot point super trend or some other method for trail, trail stopping. And then you could have either exited when the dots ceased to exist, the stars, a counter star shows, LMI in this case could have turned green, or when momentum turned green. All of those would have been perfectly acceptable reasons to escape. Likewise, you could also escape just simply because you're happy with how far it's run. Again, I'm only really interested in taking five pips. When it comes to taking this trade, there's multiple ways of setting stop losses. All of them are correct. You can either set a stop loss based off of the slow EMA. You could set one off of the super trend. Or you could set one based off the previous structure. So in the case of this up through here, when this one formed, you could have simply taken your stop loss just based off those previous wicks, the previous wick here, or slightly further and gone for the previous wicks just up here because there was a gathering of them. Either way, you weren't going to be risking many pips for the potential to make more. Also, on another note, if you're keeping your stop losses nice and tight, percentage risk wise, you're, if you're trading fixed lot sizes, you're if you're trading fixed lot sizes, you're not going to be risking much at all. If you're trading by percentage risk, you can keep your percentage risk the same and your lot size will in general will be relatively large comparatively, just simply because of the nature of having very, very tight stop losses. Okay, and that about wraps it up. So if you'd like to know anything more about this strategy, please feel free to join the Discord group and ask any questions in there, or you can direct message myself, or you can direct message Taylor, and I'm sure we'll be able to help you out the best way we can. People are already having success with this strategy. Someone's already even had a seven out of seven win rate. So that's amazing. So yeah, if you'd like to get anything else in terms of Forex, like mentorship or anything like that, please feel free to direct message me and we see what we can do. Let's get these pips. Everybody's gotta eat, man. Everybody's gotta eat. Peace.